can give me one of the six air pollutants that result from the burning of fossil fuels? Sulfur? Absolutely. What else? I'm a teacher at Desert Mirage High School. I teach uh, earth science, and I'm the junior varsity head coach and the uh, varsity assistant coach for the soccer, boys' soccer program. I'm established. I have a great job. I love the community I work in. I'm, I'm a ram. I'm, I, I love it here. Like, this is my community. Originally, I grew up in the Washington, D.C. area. I definitely have breathing issues. I just recently was diagnosed with asthma. When I made the move from Washington, D.C. to Southern California, my, my respiratory issues definitely intensified. I'm out. I coach two soccer teams. I play on an adult soccer team. And I go outside and play with my kids, man. I like, I like to be outside. I enjoy it out there. When the air quality is bad, I, I don't go out. I can tell. You can tell by the, by the look of the air. You can tell when you breathe it. You can, you can feel it. It's, it's, it's harsher. It almost has a, a mild burn to it. On days when it's the smog is mild, we'll just scale back the intensity a bit. We won't have them breathing as deep, as hard. We'll get more into technical stuff. We'll get more into touch. And there's been days where we've, we've canceled practice or we've gone inside because, because of the air quality. Here in the Coachella Valley, I really find it a lot of fun to teach about this type of thing, like air pollution and air movement and stuff like that, because it's something that we deal with every day. It's something that we see all the time, and it's something that we're exposed to. It's easy to teach because they they can relate to it. Valleys, in, in particular, because of the, the, the nature of the way they're built with walls, they're more susceptible to pollution. So in an inversion layer, that, that warmer that's rising gets trapped it inhibits the upward movement of air. So any pollution, anything that's trapped underneath that is gonna stay in that area. It's not going to move until that inversion layer is broken and that normal circulation returns. My goal is to make citizens out of all my students, to make them better people. And, and part of that is to get to get active and, and to, to fight for what's right and to fix the problems that, that our society is undergoing. As a student in a high school out in Thermal, what can you do to influence how much people believe? I want to create learners, and, and in, in teaching this type of lesson, I want to create learners that are going to act on what they learn, that they're going to take action and find a way to repair the problems that we have. Smog and, and pollution, it shouldn't be a political issue. It's an issue that affects all of us.